Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of October 5th through the 18th, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to email me or uh, check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, also, um, as a note, the phone readings, if you guys are wanting to talk to me on the phone, you don't have to wait until I post the notification. Uh, you can request a call back. It's just that, you know, either way, um, you'll, you'll remain in a call queue if I don't get to you that same day. Um, so you can request a call back at any time. All right. So central issue, heart of the matter is the six of swords, the chariot. The King of Swords, then we have the Queen of Swords, the Wheel, the Sun, Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Um, okay, so right now I feel like you guys are just kind of going with the flow of with your love life you're whether you're single or you're in a relationship I feel like you are just kind of going with the flow of things and letting things play by ear um, spiritually it looks like you have been having some sort of dream visitations um, or you have been receiving some sort of messages in your dreams something about your dreams seem to be standing out like they're getting more uh, strong or more detailed or more intense or something so those of you that usually have dreams or even if you don't normally have dreams I would still say pay attention to them if you can remember them um, because I feel like there are messages in them if you're forgetting the dreams um, you know there are techniques that you can look into to try to retain that memory um, but I also feel at the same time don't sweat it too much because maybe you weren't supposed to remember it but those of you that are remembering those dreams, it's like, okay, definitely maybe a message in there for you. Now, I feel that something's getting ready to happen. Like there is some, some I feel like someone's coming towards you. Um, and I feel like this person's already been thinking about you or the thought is already out there. Someone has already put their intentions out into the universe about coming forward. So I feel like you are getting ready to be pursued unless you're the pursuer and you've already kind of put it out there what you're getting ready to do. Excuse me. So, yeah, I feel that. Excuse me, there could be an air sign coming towards you. Um. I feel that when a time is right, this person will take on some sort of opportunity to communicate or speak to you. It looks like there is some sort of good news coming or some sort of positive changes on the way. Um, I feel that maybe you even go from not getting any attention to a lot of attention or no attention to having many, many options. Uh, try not to get your let your judgment be clouded I can see that happening too like it looks like you're being blinded by something and you're gonna have to navigate through your love life intuitively something I don't know something is throwing you off though um, just make sure that you're not in love with a fantasy or a fairy tale um, I feel like there's a need for you to take into consideration, you know, practical reasons for being with someone as well, not just things that's dealing with the heart. Now, I also feel that some of you may have a, a secret admirer and, you know, that also might come out like someone reveals how they really feel. Um, someone's been crushing on you really hard and it's funny because it's, like I was talking about getting a lot of attention but it's also possible the person coming towards you is someone who is well known popular and or famous they have some sort of status 
um, even if it's just, you know, in internet fame, you know, I, I feel like maybe you would be surprised to find out that someone famous was crushing on you. Um, now, some of you too might be getting ready to come out of the closet. Um, you may have been confused about what you want and I see like two of the same sex out so it's possible that there's um, some a same sex relationship or maybe you're attracted to another um, woman or if you're a guy you're attracted to another guy or maybe you're a straight male but you didn't know that there's a, a man that has a crush on you so there could be some sort of same sex uh, energy going on and maybe someone is going to reveal that now if you aren't coming out of the closet no big deal I don't want you getting too excitable <laughs> no need to be like I'm strictly straight like I get it that's fine I'm just tell picking up the energies of what I'm getting and for some of you that's not your story for others of you it is um, so yeah, I do feel like someone's going to be coming forward or um, they're trying to sort out their sexuality or someone is just kind of questioning, like they're like, maybe I'm sexually fluid. So yeah, that definitely someone is taking an assessment of their sexual identity. Um, now also I see this as having some sort of fantasies. So you and your love interest might have some sort of sexual fantasies. I even feel that part of someone's fantasy is to have a baby. Um, like somebody is like, oh, my fantasy is just to have a baby by this person. Or some guy is like, my fantasy is to get her pregnant. Like that's a fantasy. So I feel like maybe someone wants to have a baby or get pregnant by someone in particular. Um, yeah. So I feel too like you have a soulmate coming. Something is meant to be. Um, and that when the time comes, you'll know it. I feel like you're going to have, I feel though that you're going to have confirmation, but then still end up getting confused for whatever reason. Mm, now it also could be that someone is hiding through a veil Hmm. Like someone, let's say for instance, you're internet dating and, you know, someone's been flirting with you, um, but their, their image is that of a woman, but it's really a guy or vice versa. You know, you're a guy and you're just like, why is this dude being so friendly with me? It's really a woman. Um, so you'd be surprised at what certain people do. So, Yeah. That also could be where the confusion is coming from. Um, so uh, the other signs that are coming through are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we got all the elements out. Again, doesn't really matter what the, the sign is of whoever you're dealing with or who's coming towards you. Um, if you are in a relationship, I feel like you and your love interest may be getting ready to go on some sort of fantasy vacation. Um, even if it's just a mini getaway, you just, all you can do is afford to go downtown um, wherever you live at and stay in a hotel, stay someplace nice, eat some nice dinner. You know, something of that sort if you can't like really go out of town. But I feel like um, if you're in a relationship, something's going on where you guys are trying to live out a fantasy and maybe you do bring a third person into the bedroom just for that one night, just for a fantasy. Um, so I feel like you could be exploring things as a couple um, sexually. Um, but if you're single, I, I feel like you're going to have uh, multiple offers coming in. Now, somebody also maybe wants to come forward, but they are shy. Um, and I feel like this or they're just insecure something's going on where this person has been hurt in the past and they're make, using that as an excuse as to why they haven't pursued you yet so I feel like whoever that pursuer is is holding holding back their their pain is their crutch and they just need to overcome 
those insecurities. If you're the pursuer, that message is for you. You need to overcome your insecurities. Just get something over with. Um, you also might be in some sort of long distance relationship where travel is required and somebody is afraid to fly. But I do feel like either way, someone will overcome their fear of flying. I'm getting like cycles closing and beginning. So I feel like you guys are going to be closing cycles or having some sort of closure. Um, and then once you have closure, there's going to be um, an opportunity to start fresh. Um, for some of you, you might be moving on from someone or someone is trying to move on from you. Those of you that are single, I'm not seeing necessarily a relationship getting started within the next couple of weeks, but I do feel that somebody might uh, reach out to you or you will meet some people or have options before the next couple of weeks are out. Um, definitely looks like there's going to be communication. Um, I still don't like seeing a page here. I feel like the page still isn't speaking clearly or loudly enough. I feel like they're just saying things little by little. Um, it's like still questionable. Like, does that mean that this person likes me or no? You know, I feel like it's still coming off as hard to read. Like you can't tell if this person is being nice or if they, they're trying to get to know you. Um, and so the communication is still underdeveloped when it comes to talking about feelings. It's still something that this person needs to learn. They may need to learn your love language or they just don't understand themselves and they're trying to understand, you know, how to speak to you, what you like. Maybe they're still learning about you or you are the one still gradually coming out and saying things about how you feel um, and basically just kind of like testing the waters. Like, um, it looks like you guys might be testing the waters in regards to your love life. It's like, okay, let me see how this person feels about me if I, if I put this out there. Let me see what their reaction is going to be. So they're kind of, um, you know, kind of spoon feeding the situation just to see uh, the reactions and trying to see how it's going to pan out before they really... Um, come out with how they feel so yeah just kind of go with it if you kind of feel like someone maybe likes you uh, just kind of you you as well just kind of go with the flow of things and see how it's going to play out so hopefully these messages resonate uh, feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe sending you love and grace